Hello everyone, this is Nisha and you are watching Sciencehole. So welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be discussing about all the index and exercise question and answer of the chapter number 5 that is fundamental unit of life. In last video, we have discussed the MCQs of this chapter through trick and if you have not seen that video, linked in description box below. So let's start the video. Question number 1. Why the plasma membrane is called a selectively permeable membrane? Now we have to tell why the plasma membrane is selective. So plasma membrane is called as a selectively permeable membrane as it permits the movement of only a certain molecules in and out of the cell. Not all molecules are free to diffuse. So plasma membrane jo hoti hai, wo selective in nature hoti hai because it allows only certain molecules to pass through it. Wo kuch hi molecules ko entry deti hai. Sare molecules are not able to get inside to the cell. So this is the question number one. Now question number two. Can you name the two organelles we have studied that contains their own genetic material, genetic DNA. So we have to tell the name of two organelles. So the two organelles which have their own genetic materials are first one is mitochondria and second one is plastid. So this is the answer. Now let's see question number three. If the organization of a cell is destroyed due to some physical or chemical influence, what will happen? So students, here we have to tell what is the effect of physical or chemical influence to the cell? So, in the event of any damage to cell and when revival of cell is not possible, lysosomes burst and enzymes digest such cell. This is why lysosomes are often referred to as suicide bag. क्या होता है जब भी सेल के ऊपर कोई फिजिकल और केमिकल इन्फ्लुएंस की वजह से सेल डिस्ट्रॉय हो जाता है तो लाइजोसोम्स जो होते हैं वो एक एंजाइम रिलीज करते हैं एंड वो एंजाइम्स क्या करते हैं वो सेल में जितने भी डेड सेल्स हैं और नलीज हैं एंड डेब्रीज हैं उन सबको डाइजेस्ट करते हैं एंड सेल को क्लीन करने का काम करते हैं दैट्स वाई लाइजोसोम्स आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज अ सुइसाइड बैग दैट्स वाई वी आर कॉलिंग एज अ सुइसाइड बैग इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म सुइसाइड बैग so it is related to the lysosomes and cleanliness is also related to the lysosomes because it cleans the cell by digesting through some enzyme now question number four why are lysosomes known as a suicide bag just now we have discussed so lysosomes are called suicide bag because in case of any disturbance of their cellular metabolism they release their own enzyme to digest their own cell wo apne khud ke cell ko digest mein eat kar lete hain to cleans the cell so this is the question number four and it is very important question as an exam point of view now question number five where are proteins synthesized inside the cell now we have to tell the place where proteins synthesize proteins are synthesized in the ribosome ribosome is synthesis hota hai protein ka and that's why hum ribosome ko protein factory bolte hai because uske andar protein मैन्युफैक्चर्ड होता है सो राइबोसोम्स क्या होते हैं जो एंटोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम के ऊपर जो छोटे छोटे डॉट्स होते हैं दैट यू कैन सी इन दिस इमेज दिस पर्पल वन इज द न्यूक्लियस एंड दिस स्काई ब्लू इज द रफ एंटोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम उसके ऊपर छोटे छोटे डॉट्स हैं दैट डॉट्स आर राइबोजोम्स जिसके अंदर प्रोटीन सिंथिस होता है एंड दिस रेड कलर इज द स्मूथ एंटोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम सो दिस इज द प्लेस वेयर प्रोटीन सिंथिसाइज नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस ऑल द एक्सरसाइज क्वेश्चन Question number one and two we have already discussed in previous videos in detail and the link I have given in I button also. So question number one that is make a comparison and write down ways in which plant cells are different from animal cells. So this is the difference we have already discussed. Question number two how is prokaryotic cell different from eukaryotic? This also I have given in I button. Now let's discuss the question number three. What would happen if the plasma membrane ruptures or break down? Now we have to tell the effect when plasma membrane breaks or ruptures. So membrane kya hoti hai? It's a protecting layer. It's a protect, protecting covering of a cell. It protects the cell content, right? So if plasma membrane ruptures or break down, जब वो ब्रेक डाउन होगी तो क्या होगा सेल का जो भी सारा मटेरियल है जो सेल ऑर्गनलीज है प्रोटोप्लाज्मिक मटेरियल है वो सारा क्या हो जाएगा फ्री टू मूव यर एन देयर मींस इन एंड आउट मूव कर सकता है और मूव करेगा एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट क्या होगा सेल के ऊपर प्रेशर नहीं होगा एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट डिफ्यूजन एंड ऑस्मोसिस भी नहीं होगा एंड दैट्स वाई सेल क्या होगी डेफिनेटली विल डाई सो दिस इज द रीज़न दैट प्लाज्मा मेमरी रक्चर होती है तो सेल डेड हो जाता है सेल डाई हो जाता है क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर वॉट वुड हैपन 
to the life of a cell if there was no Golgi apparatus. So, हमको बताना है जब Golgi apparatus नहीं होगा life of a cell क्या होगी? So, the Golgi apparatus consists of stake of a membrane bound vesicles whose functions are now जो Golgi apparatus होता है उसके कुछ functions होते हैं. First function क्या है? Storage of substance. वो substance को store करता है. Second is packaging of substance and third one is the manufacture of substance. This is the three function and definitely ये जो तीनों function है affect करेंगे जब Golgi bodies नहीं होगी cell में. So without the Golgi apparatus the cell will be disabled from packaging नहीं होगी, dispatching नहीं होगा material का and definitely the formation of cell नहीं होगा. So Hence the absence of Golgi apparatus, cell will not be produced. Cell in banenge. So this is the effect. Question number 5. Which organelles is known as the powerhouse of the cell and why? So you know that in last video we have discussed the powerhouse of the cell is mitochondria and it is also called as a boss of the cell. Cell ka boss powerhouse jo hota hai, mitochondria hi hota hai. Mitochondria are known as the powerhouse of the cell. Why? Because it releases energy required for the different activities of life. So, mitochondria releases energy in the form of ATP, that is adenosine triphosphate. Keep this uh, term in mind that adenosine triphosphate is the full form of ATP molecules, essential for the numerous chemical activities of life. Hence, ATP is often referred to as the energy currency of the cell. That's why we are calling energy currency of the cell, that is ATP. So, this is very important question. Now, let's see question number 6. Where do the lipids and protein constituting the cell membrane get synthesized? Now, we have to tell the place where lipids and protein synthesize. So, here you can see in this picture, this pink one is the nucleus and this blue color is the rough endoplasmic reticulum. This green one is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. And rough endoplasmic reticulum ke upar chote chote red color ke dot hai that are ribosomes where protein synthesize. Protein maha synthesize hota hai and lipid green color part mein smooth endoplasmic reticulum mein synthesize hota hai. So lipids and proteins are synthesized in the endoplasmic reticulum. So this is the question number 6. Now let's discuss how does an amoeba obtain its food. Now, the, we have to tell the process by which amoeba obtain its fruit and the process is endocytosis. Endocytosis, it's a type of process which is what is food engulfed, hota hai, right? So, amoeba bhi isi process ke through apna food leta hai. And amoeba obtain its food, ye kya karta hai? Iski jo cell membrane hoti hai, it's very flexible in nature. So, ye kya karti hai? Jab bhi wo food ko dekhti hai, to iski jo membrane hoti hai, wo ek suropodia, ek false type ke apne leg aur hands bana leti hai and wo jo hands and leg hoti hai, wo food ke around mein jaake engulf kar leti hai food ko and engulf karne ke baad jo amoeba hota hai, wo ek digestive enzyme release karta hai and through which jo food engulf kya hai, wo digest hota hai. So, this is the process by which amoeba obtain its food and the process is endocytosis now question number eight what is osmosis and the answer the process of movement of water molecule from a region of high concentration to a region of lower concentration through a semi-permeable membrane is known as osmosis now the difference between osmosis and diffusion is that only semi-permeable membrane ka difference hota hai high concentration say lower concentration ki taraf movement hota hai water molecule ka so this is about osmosis and this also we have discussed in last video i hope you all have enjoyed this video we have discussed all the questions that are related to ncrt solution if you want me to make more question and answer you can comment in the comment section below so don't forget to hit the like button and do subscribe my channel that is scienceaholic thanks for watching